In a few minutes, I'm going to teach you how to perform polynomial regression in Python. So, this is actually part of the machine learning 101 nuggets, but this is actually, uh, this is outside the playlist of machine learning 101. So, let's quickly go to the system and then we are going to use the data we have to perform polynomial regression in Python. Just once a few seconds, let me tell you what polynomial regression is all about. If you have data set, you are trying to determine the relationship between the one variable and the other. For instance, you have on the screen, you have x, y, z. We want to find out if there is any relationship between x, y, and z. And we want to find out the equation or the function that relates these variables together. That is what regression is all about. And we can do it either by linear regression or by polynomial regression. Linear regression assumes that the relationship is a linear regression relationship, just like you have y is equal to mx plus c. Polynomial regression assumes a wider scope. So it means that if it's polynomial regression, you can simply assume that the order of the polynomial is 1, and that evaluates or simplifies to a linear regression or a linear relationship. So let's use this data now, and then we are going to perform polynomial regression in Python. For not get like this, please subscribe by clicking on the subscribe button below this video, and uh, you can also, like this video and share it among your friends if you have a need to do that. All right, so let's go to the screen. Um, so this is the data we have. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to save it uh, in my in a folder in the system and, I'm, and then import it into Python. So I'm going to save file, save as. Since I've saved it as core.excel, and then I'm just going to save, that is fine. And the next thing I'm going to do is open Jupyter Notebook and then let's try to import this data. We are going to start a brand new notebook from the scratch. So I'm leaving this page open so that you can actually read the theory of how do we get to, uh, to the need to perform polynomial regression. So I've opened Jupyter Notebook. So at this point, I'm going to expand and try to... Uh, to create more space. So I'm going to say new and I'm going to say Python 3. So it opens it opens a new notebook and let's call this notebook polynomial regression. Alright. So I'm going to call it polynomial regression one. Maybe I've created it before. Let's just call it poly reg. Mm -hmm. All right. So at this point, I'm going to first import all the all the modules that we need because there are some modules that we already we need to import. So these modules, I already put them in the clipboard. So I'm simply going to paste them right there. So I'm going to paste. Mm -hmm. I'm going to run to make sure everything is fine. The next thing I'm going to do is to import this data. So that so I'm going to say here is equal to pd. Pd means pandas. The tree. Excel and the file is in drive C ML 101 slash uh, slash what call dot XLS X. So place arrow here so that in case there is a, a problem in the format, it will not be an issue. So if I run it now, everything is fine. So if I view the data frame by typing the app, let's check if it imported and we see it's imported X, Y, Z, right? So that is the same as this data we have, but this time we are going to actually be looking at relationship between X and Y. So we want to find out if there's any relationship between these two variables and also we are going to illustrate overfitting and underfitting along the line. So pay attention carefully because this is a very important concept in machine learning. Yes, we're simply going to adjust a uh, the order of this polynomial curve or this polynomial we are trying to fit. Gradually from zero, it will be underfitted until it gets overfitted and you see how it affects the shape of the curve. All right, so I'm going to take all this. So I'm going to extract the x values to be df x dot values and also the y values is equal to df y dot values 
and I, would I always like to run the program to make sure everything is fine. X is equal to, there is a need to perform some pre-processing along the line. So read it up on my website why we actually need to perform pre-processing. X is to shape from minus one to plus one. And I'm actually going to run, so everything is fine. So I'm going to click, create a polynomial regression variable, poly, I'm calling it poly, polynomial regression. Now, at this point, we need to specify the order of the polynomial. So in that way, you use degree to specify the order you want the polynomial to be. So let's start with degree of 2, meaning that, or let's start with degree of 1. So we can actually move upwards along the line. So the next thing we want to do is to, okay, each, each time I also always like to run it to make sure everything is fine. So it tells me polynomial regression is not defined. So polynomial so regression is not defined. So I'm going to run, 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 run. Polynomial regression is not defined. <clears throat> so, um, so actually, actually, this is what we are going, not polynomial regression, polynomial features. That is what is called in Python. So the next thing we want to do is to, is to transform the X values into another X data set. So let's call it X poly is equal to Poly repeat transform. So what actually it is is doing here is going to transform this x uh, the x data to conform with the reshaped uh, values. So we are going to use x. So I'm going to run it to make sure everything is is going to be okay. So I'm going to also pick a regression line poly dot And why? So these are the steps you need to follow. Just make sure you you just follow what I'm doing. Try to do it yourself, and you kind of get used to it along the line. So I have degree one include bias is equal to true. Interaction only is equal to false. Don't don't worry about all of this. Now we are also going to create a linear regression model because when we are talking about polynomial regression, we have a polynomial function that is also linear in another variable called the weight of W. So if you want to learn more, subscribe to my channel and also ask questions so that if you want clarification, I can actually make simpler lessons to clarify some of these things. So for now, I assume that you've been following the machine learning 101 class until this time. So let's call it linear reg is equal to linear regression. Mm -hmm. So uh, then we are also going to lean reg the feet because we are actually going to be plotting two graphs. Uh, one is is a plot of this from this uh, the scatter plot kind of the scatter plot of this data, and the second plot will be the polynomial curve we are trying to fit true. So lean reg the feet, and then we are going to fit x. Poly and y. So we are fitting this transformed x with the y uh, axis. So this is actually so this is actually the linear regression fit, more like a, a scatter plot that we are going to create. So even this one. All right, so the next step is to, okay, linear regression perform. So we are going to create another y variable, which is kind of the predicted values of y based on the polynomial curve that has been fitted. So we are going to predict another set of values for y based on this polynomial function that has been created. As for the function itself, like the function, the equation of this function, uh, it's not covered in this lesson, it's covered in a different lesson. So let's call it y red equals uh, lean reg 
dot credits. So we are predicting for x fully. Uh -huh. So I'm going to run. Fine. So now let's do a scatter plot plt dot scatter x and y. Let's give it a color. We bought it blue. So I'm not going to run it. Let me fit the regression line, and that is what I'm going to do at this point. PLP dot plot x and this time y red and color equal to red. All right. So I'm going to run uh, this point. So let's see. All right, so this is what we have. It's it's not looking real good at all. The reason is because we use a degree of freedom that is very low. So what we have here is a, a curve that does not fit the data, and this is underfitting, because underfitting means that the, the model you build is not able to understand the data set. It's not able to fit the data set, meaning that it doesn't make sense out of the data set. But anyway, it's a model anyway. Let's try to improve it, and this time let's increase the degree of freedom to let's increase it by two, let's say to four. I'm going to this time I'm going to click run all, and now we have something that actually have adjusted. It's trying to understand the data. So it starts from the first one, goes up, and try to come down to this set of data here. Let's increase it to five and see what we have. Five, and I'm going to say still run all. And now we see some improvement. It goes up, try to capture these ones, goes down, try to capture these ones, and goes down as well. So we see some improvement as the degree of freedom increases. The degree of freedom simply is the 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 the, the degree of freedom is the is the power or the the order of this polynomial, right? More like tells you the order of the polynomial. Is a linear for order one or quadratic for order of two? And so on and so forth. So now we have five degrees, which is order of five. Let's try six. I think at this point that we have a very good model, although it doesn't go through all the data points, but it's fairly good. At this point, let's try seven. I'm going to say run all. And we also have a very good model, so we kind of understand the flow of the data. Now I'm going to move to 10 at this point. So 10, I'm going to say cell, run all. Cool. So it tries to also come down to try to understand the data more. It's trying to fit closely to the data. And at this point, it's moving away from a good model to overfitted model. And when it's overfitted, it's also a problem because it will not be able to predict new values because it matches this data so closely. So let's go to another degree. This time we are going to use a degree of 19. And I'm going to say cell so run all. Mm -hmm. let's see. Oh, so it captures everything. This is classical problem of overfitting, where your model captures all the data points or fits the data so closely that it will not be able to generalize when there is new data point. So this is how to perform polynomial regression, and this is how to adjust or move between underfitting and overfitting in machine learning using polynomial curve fitting. So this I explained in my website, tensionthegenius.com, and it gives a clear explanation of what this is all about. I'd like to thank you for viewing. Remember, like the video, share it around, and also um, subscribe if you've not subscribed. I will see you in the next lesson.